Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going to do our weekly report up in the Great White North. You know, it's, it's uh, moving at uh, light speed again up there. I want to talk about some fallout from the raids that we reported on earlier this month. Uh, SQ raided uh, a series of Hells Angels clubhouses in uh, the South Shore of Montreal and the uh, Montreal uh, region. Um, this was in the mainstream news in the second week of June, but it's coming to the surface now that two of the, you know, the OG OGs in uh, Canadian biker world, Michael Sky Langlois and Salvatore the Beard Cazetta, were apprehended in these raids. Shout out to the Dirty News again, who was on top of this. He broke that news. Uh, as I've said before for, for our uh, United States audience that's kind of learning about the Canadian law, uh, just because you're apprehended in a raid doesn't always mean you're going to be arrested. Uh, so a lot of times, the I mean, I guess this happens in the United States too. Um, but for you know, I'm just going to lay out what happened. They were uh, brought into custody. Uh, I believe it was the week of June 12th, uh, and both Cazetta and Langua were eventually released. So I don't know if we can say that they, they were arrested or if they were brought in for questioning or custody. But they were caught up in these raids. Dirty News reported. And Sky Lingua is one of the founding fathers of the Hells Angels in Canada, was one of the founding fathers of the Popeyes Motorcycle Club, which preceded uh, the Hells Angels. And it was their patch over in 1977 that officially started the, the Hells Angels reign north of the border, started the South Shore chapter in the late 90s, just a, a legend. I, I worked with him this winter actually in our hell's angels kingdom come documentary docuseries on vice news network please check it out you can get it on uh uh hulu vice news the cable uh, channel vice land the cable channel as well as um on youtube They're, the vice news are putting up the episodes a couple days or weeks after they originally run so sky you know second week of the show uh sky got picked up in these raids. Cazetta might be even more, in some circles, might be even more iconic than Sky Lingua, and that's saying a lot. Cazetta was one of the, uh, or was the founder of the Rock Machine Motorcycle Club uh, in the 80s that went to war with the Hells Angels in the Great Quebec Biker War of the 90s and early 2000s when he got out of prison in 2004, uh, five ish, he patched into the Hells Angels. Eventually, by the 2010s, early 2010s, he ascended to be the boss of the Montreal chapter, left into semi retirement uh, around 16, 17. There, uh, this is all in the midst of you know, uh, wartime in, in the Canadian Hells Angels and these two different wars that we've been reporting on. The, Hells Angels Montreal War against the Rizzuto mob and the war against the Blood Family Mafia in Quebec City. We've reported that Rizzuto mob, the longstanding Roman Empire dynasty of the mafia in Canada that's been very beleaguered and embattled, uh, embattled the last 10 plus years, um, that uh, the, the Rizzutos were you know, really, when it came to uh, that era, they were, everybody was together. Everybody was aligned. Everybody was working together. And then Vito Rizzuto dies. Uh, Salvatore Cazetta was very close to him when he patched over uh, into the Hells Angels leadership uh, and was one of the, I'm told, one of the pallbearers at, at Rizzuto's funeral in 2013. 
So he went from being a rival to a, a major cog in the leadership world. There are there were some unconfirmed rumors circulating that Cazetta and Marty Robert, who's the tip of the spear in this in these war efforts, uh, in an effort to you know gobble up territory for the Hell's Angels and shift the paradigm uh, where you know the the Rizzuto mob has always been you know, the top dog and and the Hells Angels were kind of subservient to them. Now, from what we're being told, Marty wants to kind of hostile takeover part of the Rizzuto Empire for the Hells Angels. And words were, you know, there there were speculation and rumors, again, unconfirmed that that Cazetta, a.k.a. The Beard, didn't see eye to eye with Marty uh, on this decision or other leaders at the time uh and that led to some of his semi-retirement i also want to state i don't know if that's true but i do know from talking to some of my sources recently that there's no bad blood between marty and and cazetta right now that cazetta made his uh, opinion clear but is not trying to stand in the way of marty marty is somebody who takes a lot of counsel from the ogs the guys from the 70s and 80s and i know cazetta is not one of those advisors so take that what it's worth. But Cazetta and Sky Lingua are both now in the middle of this investigation that's been going on for a couple of years now, separate from the war uh, into cold case murders, drugs, prostitution, racketeering, gangsterism. Uh, so again, shout out to the Dirty News for reporting this, but it looks like what was old is now new again and, and Sky Lingua as well as Sam Cazetta are are back in back in the crosshairs of the government in Canada. Last thing to say about uh, uh, Lingua got his nickname uh, because he had a pilot's license and was convicted for her for his role in the Lennoxville massacre, the most you know infamous uh, murder. Uh, you know, set of homicides in, in maybe in Canadian history, 1985, where the 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 South purged the North uh, with the Hells Angels in, Mon- in Montreal, the Sorel chapter purged the Laval chapter after originally starting in 77. As one group, they split into North and South in 79. And by 85, the North chapter had gotten so out of control, they felt like they needed to, to kill them and start from the jump, this led to Cazetta starting the rock machine and deciding not to join the Hells Angels, which which had at the time looked like it was predestined. But Cazetta was not in the middle of the Great Quebec Biker War because it it tipped off right when he went to prison. Like a couple months after he went to prison, it sparked. And then he was in prison the whole time. Uh, So that's why he was able to transition so seamlessly into the Hells Angels orbit and rise to being a leader. But I know Sky Lingua is one of the guys that that Marty uh, leans on for, for counsel. And again, Sky started this whole thing. Um, last time he was in, you know, his number of arrests, I believe he got out of prison um, a couple of years ago for the most recent time. That's where we are right now. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein, I'm out.